This is a short video on digestive hormones in the GI tract. I'm going to be talking about seven hormones in the GI tract, where they're localized and found and released in the GI tract, and, as, and their main physiologic actions. First digestive hormone is gastrin, which is localized in the gastric antrum, that bottom part of the stomach, and the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. Gastrin is released from G cells, and gastrin stimulates the secretion of gastric acid and intrinsic factor from parietal cells. So gastric released from G cells hits the parietal cells, makes the parietal cells release, release HCL, which is gastric acid and intrinsic factor. It also stimulates the secretion of pepsinogen from chief cells. Cholecystokinin is the next hormone, CCK. This is in the small intestine, released from eye cells. This does three major actions. It stimulates gallbladder contraction, it stimulates the release of pancreatic enzymes, and in order to get the bile from the gallbladder and the pancreatic enzymes from the pancreas into the small intestine, it also release, relaxes the sphincter of Odi, and that allows those contents to dump into the duodenum. Next hormone is secretin, which comes from S cells, also in the small intestine. This stimulates secretion of bicarbonate from the pancreas, which neutralizes stomach acid. Next, we have vasoactive intestinal peptide, which comes from enteric nerves throughout the GI tract, and this increases water and electrolyte secretion from the pancreas and gut, and it also relaxes the smooth muscles by, releasing, by triggering the release of nitric acid in the gut. Next is gastric inhibitory polypeptide, GIP. This is also coming from the small intestine, K cells in the small intestine, and this reduces gastric acid secretion. It also reduces intestinal motility, and it stimulates insulin release. This is GIP, gastric inhibitory polypeptide. Next is motilin, which is found throughout the gut, coming from ECL cells, which is enterochromaffin-like cells, and MO cells, MO for motilin. This increases small bowel motility, specifically through the MMC mechanism, uh, which occurs during fasting in the small bowel, and it also increases gastric emptying. And finally, there's somatostatin, which comes from the pancreas, small intestine, and the stomach, and this comes from D cells, so D cells release somatostatin. Somatostatin is the primary inhibitor of the action of many of the hormones, including everything that, that we talked about today. So the six, the first six on this list are all inhibited by somatostatin. This has been a list of digestive hormones in the GI tract, and I hope this was helpful.